Hey y'all, it's Mel. Um, I'm coming, you t coming at you today with a new five minute motivational video. Um, I did take lots of notes earlier. I'm going to start trying to do that because it seems to help with um, the brain and keeping me on track and making it a little easier to get out what I wanted to say. So I can finally see why people take notes. Anyway, um, today we're discussing the importance of staying in the now. And that's in regards to um, conquering procrastination or um, not getting things done. So, um, I started a new attack method this week for trying to better manage my procrastination and staying focused on a task issue, on any task issues. Um, I'm taking accountability and not giving myself any leeway for excuses. I know as ADHD brains, cleaning up or organizing is not always one of our strengths. So instead of beating myself up for my messy and disorganized home or trying to soothe myself with an excuse in the guise of an explanation, I just decided I would take an extra step in the now and that in that thought as it occurs to me. For example, I go to take a washroom break and while I'm doing my business, I look around my bathroom. I notice in the corner by the door that there's a tissue that must have fallen from the counter unnoticed and left there. Then I see an empty toilet paper roll sitting on the ledge of the, ta of the tub and instead of letting my mind run with who could have done that and play the blame game I determined to just pick it up when I'm done washing my hands. As I turned to flush the toilet, I noticed a few things needed attention, like my hairbrush, full of hair that needs to be plucked and thrown in the trash. Finally, as I wash my hands, I noticed the toothpaste cap has not been put back on and the tube is all scrunched and mangled, even though there is still clearly toothpaste usable inside. And these are all the things I contemplate on in the five minutes or so I am in the washroom. But as I wash my hands, I also find myself beginning to head, up, head off back to what tasks I want to either continue doing on the computer for work, or what should I plan for dinner? My hand is on the door of the bathroom, and I find myself looking back in the mirror. Right there on the lower right corner of my view, I see that piece of tissue once again. All my previous thoughts are returned to me. Everything I was going to do that I was just walking out on. I take my hand off the door. I bend down to pick up the tissue, to throw it in the trash, and make myself work through the room on those simple tasks that had already entered my mind once and were more than willing to leave again, just as swiftly as they appeared. I realized that I had, with little effort, taken the extra steps to be mindful and stay in the now, to complete those tasks, which would have just been thoughtlessly forgotten and deemed not as important as something else. I soon found myself, oh, sorry, which would have just been thoughtlessly forgotten and deemed not as important as something else I soon found myself engaged in. Now, I'm not sure if my message was clear for you in today's story example, but I hope you got enough out of it to realize that we do not 
have to stay victim to our short attention spans or our sometimes careless indifference to the minor day-to-day -day tasks that our busy minds don't deem, don't deem significant enough to be retained there longer than a couple minutes. We have to make ourselves be accountable to take the time to do what we take notice of right then and there in the now or else it will just become a long forgotten second thought. Now, what do you do to help yourself in your day to day? Please share and comment. Please share in the comments below. Because, like motivational speaker Lisa Nichols says, this is not a monologue. It is a dialogue. And we know that means we all need to participate. So, thanks for listening again today. Hope your day is doing well. And until next time, take care, be safe, and have fun.